we're going to look at two aspects of engagement that can help make your campaign successful. They are deep engagement and broad engagement. I like to think of engagement as a tree. Its roots are organizing and its branches are mobilizing. Without deep roots, broad mobilizing can't be supported, just like a tree wouldn't survive and would topple over if it didn't have any roots. And with not many branches, deep mobilizing can't be sustained, just as a tree with only a few branches won't reach very far or cover much ground. Deep engagement supports people in becoming leaders and influencers who take on significant roles and responsibilities, such as organizing their own campaign and investing their time in an organization-led project. Broad engagement touches many people and can establish trends, alter behaviors, and shift public opinion with an idea or a call to action. Broad and engaging work moves a campaign away from working with those who agree with you towards a critical mass of support. Without deep engagement, your victories could be short-lived or superficial. Without breadth, you often can't achieve the scale of change needed to tackle the root causes of your problems. From the Save the Arctic campaign that we looked at earlier, we can see examples of both deep and broad engagement. The What Kind of Courage Do You Have quiz asks people to fill in the quiz, think about their life, consider if they are similar to volunteers who have taken part in the campaign, and decide if they want to become actively involved in this campaign or future ones. So that's asking for quite a big commitment from people in terms of time, thought, energy, and future commitment to the campaign. So is this an example of deep or broad engagement? It's deep engagement. What about inviting people to write a short message during the campaign and sharing the news of delivering those messages on social media? That's something that lots of people could do pretty easily, and it won't take them a long time to do it. So is this an example of deep or broad engagement? It's broad engagement. And what about when people were asked to join the paddle in Seattle as part of this campaign? Hundreds of people committed to bringing their canoes to an agreed place at an agreed time and to taking part in a mass paddle together. So this is asking for a big commitment from people in terms of time, energy, and logistics. So is this deep engagement or broad engagement? It's deep engagement.